so this part too because i had got off the subject i'm um, gonna get back to the uh the dude so monday i'm telling him you know just some of the rules i'm like no man and you know they i ain't get mad like because they laugh i'm just like okay and finally she said okay y'all separate you go over there i'm like who the fuck how, how you gonna you know be the boss and boss up and tell him to go over there because first of all we're all at this at that at that workstation getting getting the boxes unloaded and opened up so we can do what we do for the rest of the day so it's all hands on deck and I, i'm like i don't know you, ain't, you know i thought she was just doing that oh y'all giving me a headache or you know she's trying to keep me quiet because the gang stalking shit right you know that she don't want me saying but now we see i don't know i guess she was trying to keep it quiet she had hold out you know whatever you want to call it. i just you know whatever it's called and he took got his money and you know probably had did it last weekend too the weekend before the first weekend and we were there the first week and i guess she you know because he broke it she could th and because matter of fact that's what i said i'm like nigga you broke you can't you know you up there smirking oh and you know he doing that tapping her he, he don't know Co the drugs i said it ain't like that's what i'm telling you you want to you was you were born just born in the 80s you know you're 35 you know you, you didn't see it it's not like that no more you, that's what i'm saying your broke ass can't even get a 2008 ford taurus fixed and i can understand you still working but you should, you definitely should have the money. That's no problem. That should be no problem. Oh, shit, yeah, I got to go finish, get, get my car done after we get, I get off work. Because he get off at 3.30. He the first one to come in at the temps. It's three of us. You know, I got to go pick my car up today. Yeah, dude, working on, you know, something like that. No, instead, you know, some little boy shit. And he still stay with his mama. You know, because that's when they said them two started talking. So basically, I guess... She didn't want me making him mad and he, you know, whatever, whatever he was, but he did, that day he did tell me, he told me it was some girl he had been messing with. He, matter of fact, he deliberately said he met her off Facebook. That's what he told me. He said he met her off Facebook, but he told dude yesterday it was her, literally her. All right, so back to that dude and uh, the, the reporter. So anyway, because uh, first of all, about her. The first day she got, I was the first day we got there Wednesday. We, me too, me and her. That was this the begin. That was the beginning of the assignment. They, these people just. This is a new assignment for the. Uh, it's a new contract for the temp service we work for. So Wednesday was the first day, two Wednesdays ago. And uh, she was there before me because she get there at, supposed to at eleven. Well, she's not there no more. And uh, I get there at twelve. No, she get there at ten. One dude get one person seven, ten, and twelve. They got it, you know, so they can have helpers. And I'm the last one to leave when the shift is over, period. But anyway, so she's there. So while we're there, the first day, you know, she the one brought up menopause. Oh, I'm going through menopause. Yeah, yeah. Now, I asked, how old is she? She's 45, so okay, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, I had looked it up. Because she's like, I'm like, I ain't heard of menopause since I was a kid. You know, my grandma and them. I, I never, I'm i like, damn, that means, you know, we, damn, it, it really shocked me, like, damn, it, we are getting old, my generation, because, you know, she's younger than me, but I'm like, damn, yeah, and I looked it up, just got a kid, and yeah, it does, can hit at 45, you know, I'm like, I ain't heard that shit, you know, hot flashes, because it's hot in there, and, you know, but they got fans, she like, turn the fan away, am I menopause, she said, I can't count how many times she fucking said, kept saying it, in the first four days, you know, day after that, oh, my menopause, yeah, 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 acting up. All right, so Monday, this Monday, fast forward, the uh, the dude, uh, we all was doing something at another table, all of us, and one of the regular workers, and she fucked up. And by then, the regular workers, we all joke and laugh, so nobody should take offense. She fucked up some shit, and, and everybody joking, all right, ha, ha, you fucked up. And her, her dude, she ganked, he laughing, oh, you know, he the first one to say something, you fucking up. And, you know, everybody just laughing. Ain't no big deal. We picked the shit up. I said, oh, it's probably her menopause. I said, oh, mind your business. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I told her. I, put, I said, no, you brought that shit up. I wouldn't even know yo, you was on menopause. You brought that. I can't even count how many times you, you hinted menopause, menopause. And, and he said, oh, well, now nah, it's different, though. I've been there. No, no, bitch, you can't change. Ain't no mind your business. You the one brought that shit up about your personal body. Don't try that shit like I'm harassing you, menopause. I'm like, oh, hell no. You know, but she ain't say nothing. But she ended up leaving that before her shift was over. That's the day she left and never came back. 
she left uh, about three hours into the shift and then didn't come back the next day, which was yesterday. But she didn't come back Tuesday. I and mean, yesterday, Wednesday, was the, when the new dude from my old state, he, he came. And uh, like I said, he understood a lot of things that I was saying to a young dude. And, you know, me and him started talking. And then he, the dude, like like I said, remember I was telling you, I told him Monday about not touching dope that, that's a certain, under a certain side. You know, it turned out, like I said, he, uh, just like last night, the video post last night, I was talking about, I'm going to tell it. Yeah, because when you do some fuck nigga shit, that ain't gossip. Like I said, we ain't, we ain't gossip, but that, that, that shit's stupid. We told you not to do it. I told him. And then, he, like dude said, sound like he trying to get him. Because he, 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 he said, dude, ask them totally in front of him if he, if he hustled or, 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 or drank or anything. And like like dude said, that's kind of personal, dude. I don't know if you a cop or anything, or or if he a CI. Like he said, if you, you know, if you need to bring somebody in, you you got a certain amount of debt. And I, dude, like dude said, I'm telling, I said, I know, I know you telling the truth. You know, I'm like, yeah, we, this, this, like I said, this nigga crazy, he's stupid. He really is. I'm like, this motherfucker's stupid as hell. That, that's why he knew better to come to me. And I'm not saying that, like, I, I'm seriously, not the opposite. No, oh, he ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, that her, him and her. And just like I told dude, first thing I thought, I thought, you know, this was last night after he left. He got all, he did his shift. And like I said to dude, the new dude yesterday, I said, well, at least he still got his job. She played his ass, but at least he ain't get, he still got this job. And, you know, it's paying 17 hours, this and that. He's still getting that, even though he gave it to her. <laughs> Most of his last week's earning. He gave to her like a dummy. So, it's just, it's just what I'm saying. Now, if you gave her the money, but you, like I said, if you was really hustling, touching big dope, touching, getting your hands on that, it's something to laugh about. Yeah, that's why I said, charge it to the game. That's what I told him Monday when he told me. I said, charge it to the game. Don't do nothing because your ass going to go to prison over that. You know, don't don't jump on them. Don't, don't shoot her, whatever. Over there, you know. But, I told dude, I said, you know what? That's what I, I, I knew that from the beginning that she was a hoe when she started talking about menopause the first day. Cause like, like me and him, he looked up, he started grinning and laughing. I said, you know what she meant? You can, oh, you can go raw dog, you know, worried about, you know, you just got worried about diseases. But you know, first of all, I wasn't even thinking that. I just knew she was hearing that, that, that she can't get pregnant cause she get on menopause. Cause she said, yeah, I had to check it out. I went and made for sure to the doctor. I, I'm on menopause. She told me all that. I said, and I told him, like, yeah, this bitch, you know, she up there trying to hint that she, uh, yeah, it's A-OK -okay to skeet up in her. I'm like, shit. And, and I, I knew it. And so when the new dude got, it, the, uh, he got there that Friday, the first Friday, and he, she immediately gave him her, her number. She said, put my number just so I can see if you coming to work so we can check on each other. I, you know, I'm like, mm, I ain't even saying that. I just like, <laughs> and then by Monday, I was already had peeked it out. She was pulling him around like a little puppy, telling him to do this and that. But with me, me and her was just joking, like you know, coworkers. And it was cool until Monday when she was I made the menopause joke. Then she tried to snap mind your business. I'm like, what the fuck? No, no, you no, no, no. You talk to him like that. And I did. I said no because I, I started calling her Miss Daisy. You remember that movie? Yes, Miss Daisy. For him, I'm like she telling him. She would ask me, can you do this? I'm like, eh, I don't know. But you ain't getting me like that. Yeah, I ain't your little, you know, puppy wrapped around your friend. Cause it's all, but matter of fact, the lady in charge, she noticed that she was trying to be one of them little uh, prissy girls. The first day she came because I kept doing this one job and I was just doing it to waste time. But she said, no, you don't have to stay over here. And, you know, all three of us, all three of the temps. She said, y'all switch up. You go over there and do the easy job where you can sit down and she that's what she said. She can't because she noticed. She, like I said, just like well, all of them cases with harassment, it, it, whether it's all white women or it's a mix. Women, I've been said that, that Me Too shit, I said that years ago on tape. Women be the first ones to notice. They're oh, like, oh no, she's trying to get over. Or, or I noticed that as a kid, you know, in church. Women that come in tight dress, tight sweater, or low cut. They ain't like, oh, you in the house of God. They know, they know, they know she all up in one of the deacons' faces he married, or all up in the preacher face he married. Look at her, you know, black women. When I was a kid, they, we in church. Mm, look at her, you know, the, the the shit, you know, titties hanging out, 
Here's the next thing you know is a scandal. These, you know, local churches. They ain't even big churches built, you know, before by the mega churches to build. This. Yeah, we've been seeing them scandals. That's why I don't even go to church no more. You know, been been stopped going. You know, but uh, more demons in there. Black church, white church, all of them. You know, I, I ain't saying God ain't Jesus. I, I, you already know how I feel about that. I believe, but it's just yeah. It's too, especially gang stalkers up in there. I've been noticed that. That's one, like I said, that's one of the reasons when I first started noticing why I went first I went to the church see if I get and I noticed they mocking me you know I'm like oh shit they up in here and that's when I really started going to get help you know to the at the VA like nah something's something's gotta be me then I must be tripping but it's like you don't know if you're crazy you don't know you're crazy you know said when you're tripping you don't know you're tripping you know you think everything you're doing is normal you know you come outside and walk in a circle all you know for some reason, you think that's normal. But everybody else, what the fuck is that about? You know, so that's how I knew it, it was real. Nah, these motherfuckers really doing something. You don't know you tripping when you tripping. You think everything normal. You know, you walking around in your drawers outside. You think that's normal. But anyway, you know, so they gave me all these increases. And shit, I got all this, now they mad. Years later, fast forward. Yeah, you the one tried to make me think I was crazy. Now I got all this money and don't got to work ever. You know, investing in it, finna start business again. Now you're mad. <laughs> you want to do communism. All this and that. Everybody deserves it. No, no, they don't. Nope. Like I said, yeah, if it weren't for y'all dumbasses, and really, y'all didn't want, y'all tried to stop me from going to get help. Y'all wanted me to, you know, like I'm snitching on y'all or something. You, don't don't say that. Don't tell, you know, the, the, the doctor, the psychiatrist, or the nurse. Well, what brings you in today? I'm like, nah, you know, well, do you want to hurt yourself? Nah, you want to hurt somebody else? Nah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, you know, they, you know, they do that, then they, you know, that's when they get real with you, you know. But, uh, you wanted me to try to hurt myself, you know, but no, it didn't work. But, yeah, it did work, but, you know, like I said, actually the soldiering, that's what the, the soldiering, not the, you know, oh, yeah, they tried to mock me on that. Oh, you in the army. You I'm like, I wasn't trained to kill y'all, dumbass. I'm supposed to be protecting y'all. That was our job, to protect the country, not come back and beat up and kill my, my, my country mates. So, you know, ask for help. So I went and asked for help. <laughs> dumbass. Oh, you was in the military. I'm not, that wasn't to come and kill y'all. Dumbass. <laughs> but anyway. So. Oh, back to the business, mind your business. So anyway, this dude, yeah, she talking about mind your business that day. But now I see what it was about. She ain't want dude, you know, he already had told me, but he said a different girl he had met. I forgot. I'm going to tell dude today when I get to work later. He, he, he told me he literally, deliberately lied to me, looked me in the eye and said, Facebook. And you're like, well, why should he have now? I don't care. We just met. Yeah, I'm telling you, I've been on plenty of jobs, this, these temp services. You can tell the truth. Yeah, this bitch played me this weekend, and we just met today, 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, she got me. You know, we'll talk like this man talk. Hey, yeah, I understand, you know, da-da-da-da. You know, only, only lame Democrats. Oh, you a sucker, man. Why you did that? You just met her. You let her die. You know, and exactly. That's exactly what I tell him what I told dude. You know, try, don't 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 try to get her back. Just don't fuck with her no more. Because the other ones that, are, you know, they'll do what they say. They'll hold up their end. It is. It's a bargain. They'll hold up the end of the bargain. <laughs> don't fuck with the dirty one, you know, because she won't need some money again. Don't 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 even wish evil on her. That's another thing. Because dude from where I'm from, he understand all that talk. We don't, you know, gangster shit, you don't. Don't even wish evil on her. Leave, let, just let it go, bro. Let it go. You know, you done blessed the ass. And he said that Monday. He said, I done blessed somebody. Uh, nah, I'm like, that's first same thing you said. Just let it go, bro. You know, she got you. Don't worry about it. She gonna need it. And turn out now, like I said, she didn't gave up this good job that gig. That, Cause we got, you know, about three more weeks. She didn't gave up about nineteen hundred more dollars after cut for four hundred dollars for the weekend. Like I said, well, that don't make sense. Now, now she didn't want to come back up there. I mean, yeah, she could, she she didn't do nothing to get in trouble with the temp service. She can just get another gig, but nine times out of ten, it ain't gonna be like that. The one, it's not just the money 
like I said, we can sit down and, you know, most of these jobs like that, you running all day working on, which is fine. That's why I, I'm telling the dudes up and I'm like, I feel kind of guilty. Like, we ain't you supposed to be doing something? <laughs> you know, it's like too laid back, like like a real job. It was like, like, you know, like we've got some kind of training, you know, medical certificate or, you know, anything, you know, sitting behind the desk. I ain't never, you know, except when I was in the Army, but other than that, I'm used to working. I, that's what I like, but. I'm like, uh, so it's like, and she a female, like I said, she, and I, another thing, a lot of the jobs she can't do, it's too physical, it's way too much weight, it's nuts, it's literally, she can't, they can't do it, it's nothing but dudes, that's what I be talking about, we don't like them young dudes who, uh, you know, who don't want to, they, they big and strong, but they just, sorry, they don't want to do it, and we can tell, like, we lifting something together, it's real heavy. And you can tell that somebody really ain't. I'm like, nigga, what the f You gonna hurt somebody. And you will. You hurt somebody like that. Like, no, man, you gotta lift. And they're young. They just, some of them. But, like, some of the young dudes, they come in and get it. But that's why we don't like work. You, you know, you see one of them walking up, one of the youngsters, you know, they playing games. And, slow down, unk. Slow down, man. No, let me show you. Don't do it. No, man. Put, you know, lift with your legs, not your back, and let's go. You know, fuck all this bullshit. Ain't nobody got time for that. You know, we trying to make the day go by. Matter of fact, a lot of times in them super hard jobs, if y'all get done, we get done fast, they'll let us go and throw us extra. Yeah, y'all three, okay, we gonna, we y'all get done by one o'clock, I'm gonna give you the whole eight hours. Y'all, y'all good with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all like, fuck it. Hell yeah, fuck that shit. Then you got the whole rest of the day off and you got the whole, you know, whatever, you know. That's how they do it. They 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 get. Uh, I've seen it plenty of times. You know, plenty of times and I had it. Though I be talking about homeless dudes. A lot of homeless dudes work at that company with me. And uh, like I said, the one time, one job they was throwing us hours like crazy, cause they, you know, to them think about it. That's nothing. You know, by the end of the week they paid us eight nine hundred dollars, and they didn't have to, cause really we only worked like thirty hours, but we was already in the overtime, cause they just giving us extra hours every day. But they're contractors. They from out of state. That's probably a small part of their business. You know, the eight hundred, the nine they gave us. That's probably, you know, they probably allocated two thousand per helper, two thousand dollars, right, per helper, and they only gave us nine. And and that technically by law, we only worked thirty five hours, right? So really, we were supposed to make like three hundred or four hundred dollars. But they, you know, they throw us, a, you know, because we doing it. You know, there we wasn't no, you know. Good boy, you know, we laughing and joking, you know, out some construction work. We doing, you know, like I said, we joking, it was downtown, we looking at all the women, joking at all the women, you know, the business walking by in their tight skirts, hey fellas, hey, how you? you know, all that, you know, we having fun, all this, the white boys, all this, we just laughing and joking, telling dirty jokes and shit like that, and getting the job done, and then, like I said, by the end of the day, they so happy because they can leave and go back home because they ain't from here, they, 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 just, they just came to build the kitchen. They happy as hell. They like, you know, they like I said, they were scared. Y'all coming back tomorrow? You coming? Like, we like, yeah, hell yeah. You know, shit. You know, we'll be back. All right, man. And, and the dude that was over it, he, he was like, uh, you know, he had to leave Friday, but they needed Saturday and Sunday, the weekend. He like, make sure, you know, hook these guys up. You know, he was in the Navy, and, and you know, he know I was in the Army. You know, we. You know, we tell jokes when we had to lift the the, the, the top part of the, the ice machine, you know, like being a in a uh, hotel, I didn't know there was two pieces. The the top part, the compressor, is they come into in the big old bin. I if you ever worked in a restaurant, so putting that together, we all had to lift it. You uh, know, we got together, lift it. You know, like I said, you know, the white boy, the, he's older, he's a a navy vet. You know, you know, he like yeah, it's military dude. You know, we just joking. You know, we just joking. He was joking the whole time. All this. As long as we got shit done, you know, they went on our backs. Where y'all been? What y'all done? You know, one time they made one joke. Oh, we thought we was going to have to come look for y'all. And they wasn't serious. You know, I had ass old bosses before. Shit, well, I was going to come look for you. You know, you, you know, you don't need to be sitting down, you know, or this and that, da, 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 da. But, you know, they definitely weren't like that. They ain't fuck with us. The only time they were saying shit about them park benches, sometimes I would put uh, the uh, wood on the brand new park benches. And, or city benches. You saw why I made that video uh, at the two floor hundred. It was uh, the benches that just got painted, and, and the guy that, that was over everything. He was a kind of young white dude. 
where he was the project man. He's like, no, don't leave it there. The city gonna come say something and find me and da da da. He he kept being a little ass. Like, every once in a while, but he was the one that told me to buy some new boots. Like, don't keep wearing them. Uh, you know, them Kmart boots. He said your feet were well, thinking. You the one I finally just three weeks ago went back and bought some some of the good ones. And like I said, he was right. But uh, so. Anyway, this is about yeah. So that that the whole thing that that's with him and the the I'm telling you, I, this with the mind you, mind because like I said, it don't fit into this story. Mind your business. It's a hell of a drug, so she'll mind your business. She is doing court later. Than what the hell does she mind your? I know he's trying with her name. It's a play on her name. She business is her name. She mind you. Why? What? No. It, when he just said meth. Meth is a. Is, uh, a hell of a drug or whatever. What the hell they got to do with minding your business? She mind your business. She is doing court later. Contact with the uh, victim's uh, family. That's a reminder. Meth is a hell of a drug. So she mind your business. She is doing court later this month again. What? What the heck? First of all, it's a news report. You're telling everybody who watched the she mind your business. It's on the news. First of all, a lot of us go into the gas station and get them that who got arrested this weekend paper. It's everybody's public. It's public business once you get arrested, whether it's a small crime or a big crime. You're on the arrest report. You know. And uh, what, what? Meth is a hell of a drug. Mind you, bit what? No, meth is a hell of a drug. Stay away from drugs. I'm telling you that that you know. They, but that that's a good sign. That means they're getting uh, you know, they're scared. They're running like rats. They're mad and whatever the superstition is. Shut <laughs> white chick in it. Yeah, uh, chick driving that Corvette. Like I said, that's what I'm talking about. I know, like I said last week or two weeks ago, the motherfucking McLaren, literally, yeah, the McLaren, because the McLaren dealership about ten minutes from here. It's uh, downtown. They got a McLaren dealership. I didn't see about three or four. I'm just saying. You know, so I might buy one in three years. I'm telling you, serious. We'll see. I'm gonna keep making videos. We'll see. Cause it's free to get like that. That's what they mad about. I'm telling you, it's, it's been a, it's, they mad. I'm telling you, my plan. They, that's how I know it's gonna work. They mad. They they running around. And I'm like, why should I not use my brain to make a lot of money? Just cause you can. That that doesn't make sense. That's not what you know. Help that Jesus was preaching. Just like y'all said, I was born that way. So if you were born that way, you you born a boy, you born a boy, but you wanted you a female, you think, okay, fine. I was born smarter than you, so why the fuck I, I gotta pretend I'm not smart? I was born that way. I was born smart. You know, you gonna act literally, act like I'm selfish. Then no, these motherfuckers say that. You know, I'm that's, that's the whole thing. That's what drove me fucked up when the, when this shit started happening. Dang it, the way I got help, I'm like, I'm not selfish. Why the fuck is, I'm keep still going, you know, and I'm like I said, the company I'm working for now. Back then I was making five dollars, six dollars an hour. But I was do I had to do something. And I had my goal. And I, like I said, I did accomplish it. I did buy one house that was kind of similar to these houses series, but it was in my old state. And it was damn near branded just like one of these. They had rebuilt it. Just like that one. The, 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 the roofing was new, the siding was new. And for me. I wasn't getting that much money from the VA at the time, but it, it was enough to cover the house note. And then I rented it out, Section 8. That covered it all. So my mortgage was getting paid for. I, I wasn't making no money. I didn't have no profit from that, but I'm getting the house paid for. And it covered the house insurance as far as it fire. If she went renter's insurance, that was on her for the stuff inside. So everything was covered. And I did, I was able to buy a vehicle because they give you, they don't, it takes a, about four months before they give you the first check. So I got a bad check. So yeah, I wouldn't have bought me a new car. It wasn't new, new, but it was new to me. You know, it was, it was nice. And, you know, put a little system in there. But, and I'm going back and I'm working 12 hours, you know, da 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 da. And so, because I was going, you know, after that, they was going to build my credit and I could buy another one, buy another house, buy another house, buy another, keep renting them out. And they like, no, don't do that. Don't do I'm like section eight for one thing, was, you know. I'm like, well, what did the girl, you know, her boyfriend tear up your house? I'm like, uh, what the hell he want? He looking for somebody, seriously. They kept coming to my door. He might come to my door looking for some dude that don't live here no more. 
You know, I'm like, uh, he don't even live here. But anyway, so I, uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, even they, well, what is she tear? Because it did. You know, I I knew people who who do who do carpentry, and one time he had to go fix this girl house a stripper. She's a section eight. She's not. She's a stripper. I know if that's how he met her. He he was a bartender, but he also uh, did carpentry. And uh, he's like uh, her boyfriend kicked in the door and all this. You know, that's when that's what they wanted. They had been warning. You know, I think it was gang stalking. They had been warning me about that before. Uh, oh well, what the hell she want? So I meant he, but it's a she sheriff. Yeah, well, let me be nosy. I never seen this dude in a jeep either. She can't hear. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I don't hear anything. She talking low. I mean, it's his business. So anyway, he had to go fix a hole in her door because she's sick and she ain't, she ain't getting want to get kicked out. You know, she a stripper, a real stripper. She work at a stripper. Like I said, that's how he met her. So he was marching. And as a matter of fact, when I got out of work, I used to go hang with him. And the strippers, they would all come to this club after the strip club closed, you know, and they regular clothes to, to wind down. So we all in there kicking it with them. And uh, she was finna get, uh, she was finna get, uh, you know, put out of her house. If, because her boyfriend kicked in the door, you know, one of the inside doors, but he went and fixed it or replaced it and put a new one in there, you know, side hustle thing. You know, he was one of them jack of all trades, bartender and all that shit, carpentry. Carpenter, he did, you know, built decks. So anyway, I'm like, I don't care, I'm, I'm young. Back then, I, I was, I'm like, I'm, I got energy, I don't care. I'm work, that's why I work at night. If some go, some an emergency, the pipes break. And if it's at nighttime, I'm gonna be at work. First of all, it ain't like I'm, even if I wasn't at work, somebody, one of my tenants wake me up in the middle of the night, I'm, I'm young, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, okay, I'm, but the only emergency would be something like the pipes burst. And we down south, that don't happen too much. It, it can't every once in a while you get a freeze warning and it does it has happened but that's every once in a while really you just leave your shit dripping at night you just leave it dripping so it won't the pipe won't burst but you know i'm like that's the only thing and other than that just turn the water off because where i'm from they all the houses got a outside and you can go out and just turn the water off yeah i'm gonna turn the water off till morning till i get somebody over i'm just like i had thought of all this Anyway, let me go and fix my breakfast and get ready to go in. I got a couple of hours, but that's the yeah. Like I said, you know, mind your business. You know, like I said, no, y'all started this shit. You know, 